what's happening, if I break your jaw, your body goes, oh fuck, my jaw. And by the time it's going, oh fuck, my jaw, I've already raked your eyes and busted your nose and ripped your ear. So every time there's a new stimulus, before your brain can even acknowledge the fact that it's happening, you've already gone three different areas. So you're bypassing, you're working inside the flinch, literally, right? Because by the time you flinch to the shot to the jaw, You've already, you've already hit three other areas. When he realizes that his eyes and his ear and his nose have been busted, you've already traveled with them. It's, a, it's an onslaught. Imagine being stuck by, stung by a million bees just all over you. You know, you'll swat a few, yeah, sure, but you're not, there's no way you're getting out of it and not by stung. It's kind of like the same thing, it's a swarm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because that's what I mean by the bypass of the flinch. I'm not saying I'm faster than a human being's flinch. I'm just working behind it, not in front of it. Because again, the gun, if I go teach like this, this is the flinch. The flinch is not to the bullet being shot. He would never flinch if I shot him and he never saw the gun coming. If you're just walking down the street and somebody shoots you, you're going to get shot and die. You're not going to do this. You won't have defensive wounds. The defensive wounds only happens when the person saw the gun coming or the knife coming. And that's the flinch. The reaction is to that, to the punch, the outside stuff. When you're inside, you're bypassing it. It's not like you're faster than it. You're just working on the inside of it. Yeah, no, no, no. The last drill that really hammered home for me was as soon as he's got the knife, you don't wait for him to. That's it. Well, right? As soon as you free to one go, that's it. The second you feel that energy, bang, you should be engaged in. If you, the second you make contact with your opponent, you should be engaged in causing harm. One way or another. Because you have to switch the predator prey mentality. You've got to get them to go defensive. Once they start going defensive, you've got to keep them on the defense so they don't go counter defensive or offensive on you. And every time you. Like if you go conventional striking, if I punch in order to hit him with the other hand, no matter how fast, no matter fucking how quick or whatever, I still have to retract and punch again. That little retraction, that fraction of a second of time between offers my opponent the opportunity to flinch, intercept, jam, parry, slip, blow, whatever, right? So if I'm boom, 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 you see he's moving, but if I'm doing this, there's no way he's, he's, he's getting between my hand and his face. And the damage that I'm going to cause here, you know, whatever it is that I'm doing. So no matter where his head goes, he's getting hit. He turns here, here. He looks at me here, boom. Wherever he goes, there's an assault coming on him. It's just non-stop. And critical and important to trap your opponent. You can't be doing this, and he's going to knock your hands out of the way. So when you see me doing stuff like this, it's either because I grabbed his hair, the back of his neck, or his ear, or the entire head. I'm grabbing it like a bowling ball now, but as I'm doing it, I'm crushing to whatever it is that I'm fighting in. Right? I know it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs>